Oh, hello guys. Welcome once again. I want to teach you guys DVD styler. How to use DVD styler to create your DVDs. First of all, you have to install it and then open it. Wow, is it already? Now you have to create new projects. Check the box and then do your DVD level to DVD styler tutorial and then you have to and then you have to select your DVD capacity that is the DVD or DVD capacity then you have to leave others the way it is and then you have to tick here if you are living in America or tick here if you are living in other countries apart from America you have to select your aspect ratio a DVD format then click OK you have to add your caption And then select your favorite display. Mm. Okay, let me choose this one and click OK. And it will create it automatically for you. And then one good thing about the video style is you have to you like to customize it the way you like. Okay, let's load let's load our titles like our videos you have to minimize look for your video where you stored it look for the folder and then you have to drag and drop you have to drag and drop Drag and drop at the base. Adding file. That one is okay. Under file. Adding under file. Adding another file. Okay, let's use this one for now. Okay, let's add one more. Okay, okay that's okay. You have to go back here. Come over here. One funny thing I like about DVD style is that you have to customize it the way you like. Add things like add buttons like home just drag and drop buttons like home sizes do it the way I like and then I'll delete this one since I have this one I'll go to menu 3 something like this to do many other cool stuffs something like okay maybe you want to like change background of this menu this vmgm menu you want you just double click it and then choose background of your choice any background of your choice I can choose this one and click OK see how it's beautiful okay, let me just change the color of this one you can change the color of your button and change it to red 
going to be visible. Then click OK. I can make it to be bolder. yellow okay another cool thing about this dvd style is that you can just add a music that will be playing here okay like let's choose a music of your choice add a music of your choice And another cool thing is that you can just come here and give it a name like select text you can just press ctrl d okay copy come here right ctrl d and just duplicate it not allow any button to merge in order to speed things up I will reach to you now okay what I did was just to adjust every other thing when I added the button I double clicked and changed the name here. You can change the font here and do all that cool things like that. And then you click OK. And another thing you have to you need to have in mind is you have to start from here and check every code because all these buttons now they deal with codes. It's not a big deal. Just double tap it, play on, and just check if it's the right order. Have to check jump to title one title sets one title one which is the first video when you click play all and that's a cool code just click ok and move to menu two just check this button now because it's it's a code quite all right is in right order click it and click OK. Check this one also. I have to move it to title two. Click OK. Check this one. I have to move to title three. And click OK. And also check this one. I have to move it to title four. And click OK. Now move to the next menu. If you want to, you can have many titles as possible as many videos as possible but what you have to bear in mind is that the lower the megabytes per second here the lower your video quality but the normal is 2.0 allow it to be above normal but if it goes beyond behind 2.0 and you know that your video quality will be poor okay Next thing you have to you need to have in mind is where you choose your background, is where you place buttons, is your file explorer, where you do so many other cool things. Then this is where you save your project. Then we save it to DVD Flick Tutorial. DVD DVD Styler. 
tutorial and then you hit save configuration the next thing you have to do is to check here add this is where you add your file your file as chapter title for dvd assuming you're like continuous and then when you are through and you want to produce or encode your dvd you hit boom what's he saying you will three button six and button two are overlapping vpd menu three and then you go back to menu three to check if they are overlapping then you hit back on see every problem is solved then if you want to like burn it directly after encoding then you have to tick this option and then slot in your dvd but if you want to just create the ios image and then later you burn it to dvd then you tick here and then click start see everything is encoding it's still generating the menu the three menus see how the code is running it will take something like uh, hours depending on the movie length and quality of your movies and your menus and your buttons okay okay after encoding you check the folder you sent it to go to my PC go to my document go to DVD after encoding you see something like this these two folder and then you are good to go for that okay there is no other thing you have to do about it then believe you have a good knowledge of it Okay, thanks for watching and bye for now.